So, this was supposed to be some really big expose on the next big gun on, in Call of Duty, or at least in this game, but I'm about one, two, and a half weeks too late, so instead I'll just talk about this gun as a whole, pre and post patch, and sort of give my own thoughts on it as someone who enjoys shotguns in Call of Duty. And yes, yes, before you're confused, this is a gold gun. I know, I know, the thumbnail's platinum. I, I unlocked it, this is just some older footage. So, let's get the elephant out of the room. This gun's crazy. Uh, the, the range is absurd. And it's really like nothing else Call of Duty has seen for a long, long time, let's be honest. But, dang, it it, it slaps. It, it, it really does. At least, pre-patch. Pre-patch, just people were comparing this to the models. Um, I'd also even give it a comparison to the Remington from Black Ops 2 before that that thing even got a nerf. It, it's unprecedented in its power and its range, being able to two-tap from crazy ranges. And yeah, it it got nerfed for now. I We'll see just how much the nerf did to it in the long run. I think it did some... It's, it's, it's done something, but honestly, I, I don't even think it's enough, but we'll see. Anyway, so I don't know how many people really knew about this gun going into Modern Warfare. I did not see it in the beta at all. I leveled it up to the 25 and I hated every single second of it. This gun was just not good. It was extremely weak and it took more than two shots quite a, quite a bit often just to kill someone. I'm glad that they buffed it, but they didn't need to buff it this much. And they, they, as everyone knows, they, they buffed it a little, little too much. Just a teeny bit too much. No, I'm just kidding. They, they went a little too ham on the, the reverse. But, hey, these are the stories that we, we tell ourselves now, right? In, in five years, we're, we're gonna remember this gun. So, that'll be fun. But, as for the nerf right now, and going forward, I just hope that they don't treat it like the models. The models were insane, and then they nerfed them a bit, and that wasn't enough, and then they just gutted it. They gutted it completely, and to the point where it's not usable. You have to use the Spass in the, that game now. Uh, I'd much rather they go something along the lines of the Remington route, where they had to nerf it once, and then that wasn't enough, so they were nerfed it again. But now, if you were to play Black Ops 2 again, it's still a serviceable gun you could use, and you do you could still do well with it. It's still very, very usable, and it's still very, very powerful. I'd even say it's still the best shotgun in that game, even with the nerfs. So that's what I want, somewhat, with this uh, with this gun. You can nerf it again, maybe one more time, but do it right. Don't gut it, don't make it beta bad, but you make it usable. That's all I ask. Um, but it, the gun's crazy, it just... It's it's a joke, but it kind of just was the best sniper in the game. <laughs> you can out quick scope the snipers. And you have insane hip fire, so you can get the quote unquote no scopes on people and it's just insane how they made this the ultimate hybrid of like a rifle and a shotgun in once. Imagine the Mark II having good hip fire, that's crazy. But you know, if you were to use this as a primary now, though, especially now, you're gonna suffer some. You'll notice the disadvantages of using a shotgun. You gotta be close, so you're gonna be running around. You want to use the outskirts of the map, so on and so forth. But the real issue uh, that I see with this game, and going forward, it needs to be addressed. Is still, this gun will still be very powerful if you combine it with overkill. Right? You have a rifle, let's say the M4, still good by the way or AK, or any SMG or something. Maybe an SMG that's better at range. And then you and then you put this as your secondary? That's crazy. So you have, like, a rifle that's gunning people down at ranges as you're defending a flag, but when you need to push the flag, you can swap to this and pop people off. And you're just unstoppable. And the crazy thing is Overkill really doesn't have any competition. You have EOD, which is very solid. But that's it. Double time, double sprinting, so that way you can be more vulnerable and get yourself killed more often. Because the sprint out times in this game are terrible. I'll have to talk about that in another video. The sprint out times are not very fun. Unless you use SMGs, they did get buffed. But 
it's not very kind of rushing. Or you use what the cold blooded perk when there's streaks in the air. But you can shoot them down real fast and then not need them. Take it off. Quick fix seems cool, but I think it's too gimmicky. Might have to mess around with it before I can really say anything about it. And then Scavenger, which typically in other games is nice for streaking, but you now have the ammo box and you have fully loaded if you really want. So it's not that it's obsolete, it's that there's alternatives and it's not necessarily a crutch perk anymore if you need ammo. So it really it comes down to overkill and EOD. I'd really hope that, you know, maybe they make Dead Silence a perk and they'll put it in the perk one. That would be cool. Or if they made Ghost to perk 1 too, and swapped it with Cold Blooded, that might be another fix, right? Just just give Overkill some more competition, because I think Overkill is really what's putting this gun over the edge. And no matter what you do, until you, unless they gut the weapon, it's still going to be an issue. But that leads me to my next very important point, though. I, th I feel like a lot of people in this game are using this gun as sort of a scapegoat for dying at close range. Right, you'll die to, like, almost all my encounters in, in this gameplay are at a recently, or a decent, I'd say a decent range, maybe 8 to 10, maybe 15 meters every now and then. For the most part, it's all pretty close, right? I'd say this is fair shotgun distance to kill someone. But when people, like, die to this gun, even at shotgun distance, they'll complain, oh, it's because the 725 is overpowered, it's, it's broken, it's, it's, it's too good. No. I'd say where it's really, really strong is when you're getting two-tapped at 30 meters. That's that's pretty absurd. That's kind of unreal. But other than that, if you're, if you're getting, like, one-tapped indoors, that's what a shotgun should be doing. It should not be two-tapping you unless you're using the Origin. That's not really fair to people that use shotguns. So we need to find this, like, happy balance in the end where people that like to play aggressive and or use these type of guns can feel like their gun isn't terrible. But also, the people that want to use other playstyles can also feel like that they're not completely getting demolished and overshadowed at any range. And I think over time, hopefully, the dev team at Infinity War will be able to find the right balance and get it right. Maybe, just maybe, a slightly, slightly better model is where this gun should be in the end. Maybe. Um, I could see that. But who knows? I do I do still think that this gun should have some kind of advantage over some of the other shotguns because you do only get two rounds before you have to reload and that reload is pretty painful. So range is generally what I think is good, especially since they, they nerfed the sprint out time and the hip fire and the ADS. So at least rewarding people for, you know, being able to pick people off somewhat at range would be nice to people that still want to use this gun. I myself is not so, I'm not so much of a fan of the new version, but that's just me. I know that there's people that are still going to be loving it, who are diehards of this gun, or you know diehard secondaries with overkill, because that's what we still see. But the the real big question I have, I guess even for you guys, is when did this gun really really start to take off? Was it because of Reddit? Was it because of YouTube or Twitter or some other social media platform? Or was it just because you guys started seeing this gun in public lobbies and it caught on and someone was like, oh, I have to try this out. I got melted by it. And then that's what sort of started the snowball effect over time. I don't know because the first few days of the game, I didn't see the gun at all. It wasn't really until the next week of the game that I started to see this gun creep up and creep up. And that's when it really started to hit. And I think that's that's when people started making the videos in the on Twitter and on YouTube and on Reddit and everything else. And that's when it snowballed. At least that's what I think. But anyways, until next time, my name is Pop Darts. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Thank you so much for watching, and be sure to subscribe for more content. Peace.